Today, we're going to cover fear. Now, I know that fear is controlling you. I understand. I also understand that these fears can immobilize you and stop you from going forward. If you've ever seen or read the book, Doom, it talks about fear as the mind killer. But it is true. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is not of God. Fear is that thing that we've used throughout the years to chip away at who we are. I understand the fear of leaving something that you've grown accustomed to and the fear of not being able to provide, the fear of being homeless, the fear of not putting food on your children's table. I understand that fear, but you can't let that fear rule you. You have to work past it. Don't let it become a mind killer. I understand the fear that your abuser may take your children away from you, or even worse, might kill your children. I was so convinced that my ex hated me so much that he might harm the children. Because I saw how he changed his projection of that rage from me to the children. So if he was capable of doing that to the children, he was capable of some really bad stuff. I understand the fear that you may be feeling that if you leave, that it's going to make the situation worse. I understand. I understand that you're afraid that it's going to escalate and it's going to blow up. And I understand that you're afraid of what he's going to do to maintain his control. I point this out because I know what society's ideas and thoughts are. Why don't you just leave? There's so many things to, to consider. There's so many fears that are involved that it makes us make bad decisions. But I'm here to tell you you're not crazy and you're not stupid. The dangers of leaving are very real. And if you're not in this situation, you cannot understand that. So in order to alleviate these fears, I want you to, I want to reiterate what we covered before. You have rights. And if there is a faction of society that does not actually does not uh, support your rights, then find another. And secondly, talk to people. Finally, let out your story. Make people aware of what you've been going through. You'll be amazed at the people who will lend a hand, who will be there for you. I have so many amazing stories. I used to serve in several different churches. In my home church, I was always serving in absolutely anything that they had going on. But I also served in another church in their Boy Scout program. I was there for, very, uh, for many years. And in a different church in their Awana's programs. And it amazed me the sources that came to me to help me. People that I didn't even really know. But who heard about what I, me and my children are experiencing. And the outpouring. Oh my word the outpouring that we received. Now, as I told you previously, there were a lot of those relationships that I destroyed because of my fear, because I was fighting all the hardships that I went through. It's been my goal through this entire process that you don't stay in a relationship that is harmful to you for a quarter of a century, that you don't allow your children to grow up in that. Understand this quicker than I did. Understand how to get a hold of your fears. Don't let them rule you. The enemy would love that. And you're greater than that. And the life of your children means more than that. Don't let fear 
be your enemy. Don't let fear cause you to stay in that situation and to make your children continue to endure. Oh my goodness, you will regret it. Fear is the main tool that the enemy uses to prevent us from our destiny. Want more. Demand more out of life. If you're feeling fear, know that that's not of God. You have the power to get past this, to create the life that you want. Don't let fear win.